Dude. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we move on to the second semi-final in this Group A Nernchayo tournament. It is Thailand taking on Morocco. In the blue corner, we've got a regular on LWC Super Champ returning. It's Hisham Bulari. He is 31 years old, 170 centimeters tall, 57 fights in his record, 38 victories, 16 defeats, three draws. He trains out of Bezard Warrior Academy in Pattaya, and he is representing Morocco. And now introducing his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He goes by the name of Rambo Sitkunma. 19 years of age, 171 centimeters tall, has a total of 45, 32 victories, 7 losses, and 1 draw. Currently training out of Sitkunma, and he's from Chak Chung Sao Province in the eastern part of Thailand. Now you gotta wonder, are these two very happy what they saw in the first match? Because there's no doubt about it, Gan Pet and Lin Tun left it all in the ring. Of course, it is Gan Pet who advances to the finals. And I think that knockdown helped out, helped him out very much. And his tactics in the last round, I think he used his experience very well. I mean, it's <laughs> so much for conserving yourself and, you know, making sure that you're, you don't get to take too much damage and you're fit enough for the, the final. Those two in our previous fight just left it, like you said, left it all in there. Yeah, I don't think anyone's ever going to conserve themselves if they compete against Lin Tun. There's no doubt about it. I mean, Gan Pei found that out the hard way. Yeah, he definitely did. Hisham Bolari, regular on LWC Super Champion, competing in Thailand for years. There is Bezard, his gym boss, who's also had a fearsome reputation for competing in Thailand and had a very entertaining style. Yeah, I mean, one of the first... Iranians to compete in Muay Thai here in Thailand that really led the way for a lot of the Iranians to see competing here today. Yeah, and I mean, this is, I was saying to somebody the other day, and I just need, just need to double check, but this is the, no, 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 we've got another, we've, we have Iranians competing on every single show. <laughs> every show, there's, a, and it's not a bad thing, I think it's brilliant. Yeah, like I said, he led the way, and here they are. Someone doing very, very well at the moment. Hisham in the Southpaw stance. We've got a Southpaw versus an Orthodox. Rambo in the Orthodox stance. It's all about the footwork with these matchups. Great right hand there from Rambo, and he's got real good control of the biceps inside the clinch, trying to create some separation to land his knees. Hisham fighting his hands all the way through to use the long guard to get out of that, but Rambo returns a favor with a knee and a body kick. Yeah, like you mentioned, it is a southpaw versus orthodox, so expect a lot of kicks to the body in this matchup here. Upward elbow there from Hisham, who's going into the clinch as well, trying to get up close and personal with Rambo and getting it. Rambo firing back with his own knee. See Hisham just trying to almost like ragdoll Rambo in the clinch, but just Every time he got his arm across, he just gave up on that position. When you try to go for that, we sort of try and get your forearm across the neck. You need to swim your arm underneath so you can clamp it together and get that vice grip lock. Hicham Bulari, nicknamed the Honey Badger. As you mentioned, he has fought in Thailand for several years now. He's been living here for several years, so he knows the ins and outs of Muay Thai. He has that experience. His opponent, Rambo Sikudma, of course, born and raised here in Thailand, but just at 19 years of age. I mean, fair to say, Hicham Bolari does have more experience competing on these big shows, especially here at Lumpini Boxing Stadium. Nice kicks to the body and going high this time as well. Hicham Bolari, good kicks there from the Moroccan. Yeah, very impressive there from Hicham. But Rambo just not not being faced by it at all, landing his own body kick there in return. Holding it in the ring too, that's where he wants to be. Yeah, not the same matchup we saw previously, both of them more conservative in their approach. Good kick to the body there from Rambo and a nice teep on top of that. And Hisham again landing with the left body kick. Impressive. I'm very impressed with how accurate Hisham has been with his body kicks. Normally he doesn't throw those. He's more of a low kick, more of a low kick than a body kick fighter. Yeah, very different tactics, and I think that's more to do with the stances of both opponents here, or both fighters here, excuse me. Orthodox versus Southpaw, as expected, more kicks to the bodies. So, once upon a time, Rambo was called Chalam Kao, and he competed in his last match, actually, in China, where he won a points, and there's a Whoa. grounded knee there from Hicham Bulari. I don't think the referee saw it, and he's giving him a count. Oh my goodness. 
Yeah. I don't think the referee saw that as well because that was a grounded knee. There's no doubt about it. That was a really good sweep, though. I mean, you could. some people would argue, could that be all one move? But probably not. His knee was on the floor as he threw it. I mean, in instances like this, I think Muay Thai needs some VAR, and that is the end of the first round. Now the big talking the big talking point for that round was the grounded knee. Which is of course illegal in a lot of martial arts. Yeah, well, I mean, it was a great round though. Really impressed with how Hisham's improved since the last time I saw him fight. There it is. Turn and knee. Oh, it was a grounded knee. But the question is also, did Rambo milk it? Hang on a second. He was on the ground. No, he was. And it was definitely a knee that connected. Yeah, that is an illegal knee. There's no doubt about it. It's a great sweep, though. He just, he should, just shouldn't have thrown that knee. Wonder what, um, how the judges are going to score that one. Will they actually score that knockdown? Let's have a look at the second round to see how things escalate. Well, to my knowledge, they don't have to, right? Correct. They do not have to. But. Let's remember, they don't have VAR either, the judges. It would be good if we did have that for moments like that. But anyway, as we continue, Hisham fighting his way through the clinch, trying to get a good lock on Rambo. Rambo just fighting back and breaking Hisham's attempt at the vice grip lock. But of course, another question is, even though Hisham did score the knockdown, if, if, if he did, would he have won the round anyways? That is the question. And I think he did enough in my books. I think so too. Again, like I said, very impressed with how he's fighting today. Yeah, on the back foot, I mean, something we're not used to seeing from him. Good elbow there from Rambo. And Hisham clamping, trying to clamp down on the arms of Rambo, but then working his way up. You know, what's really interesting to see fighters, oh my goodness, is there something wrong? It is the mouth guard. But fair enough, he put it right into his mouth immediately. But straight back in. Of course, the rules here is that it needs to be washed first. I think it helps somewhat, Ali. Yeah, no, it does. It definitely does. I've just slide back in. Right body kick to, to kick things off again from Rambo. And he goes straight back into the clinch too. I mean, Hisham does have some good ideas in the clinch, but just that crucial moment, he just backs away from them. Rambo now very aggressive, controlling the pace of the fight right now. Yeah, I mean, the fighters that are named Rambo, they tend to be very aggressive. Of course, that did come from the movie. Yeah, exactly. It's such a common name here in, in Muay Thai for Muay Thai fighters. Left shot to the body there from Hisham. Yeah, I mean, we had a lot of fighters in the Golden Era uh, as well that were nicknamed Rambo, the most famous one being Rambo Paul Rumerdy, also known as Punsiri Paul Rumerdy, always moving forward. I mean, he never became a champion, but he always put he always filled seats in the stadium, so to speak. Well, we had a Rambo competing here a couple of weeks ago. Rambo, Pepo Do'o, who won by knockout, who's won a lot of belts in his career. Jumping near attempt there from Hisham. And the body kicks and the body shot, and down he goes. And that's right, it is going to be Hicham Bolari headed to the Ngun Chayo 132 pound final in Group A. Wow, what a shot from Hisham, just like that. He goes into the final. And fair to say, he is a lot fresher than Gan Pet was. Yeah, no, he definitely is. And if he can stop 
Rambo to the body. We saw Gampet taking a lot of damage and he did an extra round than Hisham. We take a look at the replay here. A lot of spinning elbows from Hisham. Rambo on the front foot did very well with his right body kicking in the clinch. Upward elbows here from Hisham. And Hisham diving in with the elbows too. Let's see if we can get the stoppage at some point. Another spinning elbow from him. Here it is. The jumping knee turning into a kick attempt and then that body kick. And Rambo just couldn't take any more punishment. Yeah, what took, a stoppage. Took a lot of punishment throughout the fight already. I mean, a lot of kicks to the body and then eventually the body couldn't take it anymore and he went down. Great performance though from Hicham Bolari. A lot more technical than we're used to seeing from him. Let's head over to Mr. Matthew Dean for the official decision. Let's have a cool song with each long rip ride, ladies and gentlemen. In bout number two here this evening, we have our winner by way of knockout in round number two from the Blue Quarter, Morocco, Hichabulari. You need to wake up, Kapu Shana, Kapu Sawani, her swing arm cup. Let Raurai Koo Ching Rip Roy Cup. Jack Pushana, Koo Saw Jamaka, Pushana, Jack Koo the Cup. Niku can pet, sit Kila, who I told the cup of Jug of Hichambu Rari. This will be our final this evening, fight number seven. These two fighters will be fighting for the title this evening. So don't let you know, Lodge Home Women Manha, Igniko, and Koo Ted Cup, the Cotton and Donald Cup. Young me like who Haima Suru, Haima Lungan Cup of Young Chen Kuta Pai Cup, Kurisam Cup, the Kuma Unipika, and the Noi, Hassim Seaborn, Cup of Bogota, Sola Sokon Cup, Mewajamaja, Morocco, Lua Germania, Lua Rankai Sung, Yaina, Nungroi, Hassim Seaborn, and I got good, good night, Sama Nap, Rumi, Nok Dai, Young, Wai Sut Sura Cup of Motor, and Titam Dugan, and the Kuta Pai, Kusam, Jack Pai. Play what now? แก้เคล็ดขัดยอกและบรรเทาอาการปวดเมื่อยตามร่างกาย